Blue Prism Digital Workers can do anything a human worker can do on a computer, often using the same user interfaces. They're also faster, never take a break or get sick, never sleep, never make a mistake, keep perfect audit logs, and are highly secure. But how can you train them to make complex decisions? In this example, I'm going to walk you through how I used Blue Prism's machine learning engine to pick my March Madness bracket. First, Blue Prism launches the browser for the bracket I'm doing with the reveal group. Starting with the first game, the digital worker reads which teams are playing and what their seeds are. This data is stored for later on the main page. Now that it knows which teams are playing, the digital worker can look up more stats. In this case, points per game and opponents points per game for each. Before we can choose a winner though, we need to build out the machine learning model. Fortunately, this is quick and easy. Using Blue Prism Decision, we first give our model a name and define our outcomes as either Team 1 or Team 2. We can then set up our variables, in this case each team's seed, average points per game, opponent's points per game, and if either team is Yukon. More on that last one later. With the variables confirmed, it's time to train our model. We start by adding any hard rules. In this case, if either team is Yukon, they win. Go Huskies! Next, we teach the model. We enter some values in, choose the outcome, and save it as a sample. Normally, an SME would do this several times, but in this case, I just used last year's results. After that, we test and calibrate. I enter in some values and see what the model predicts. If the model is wrong, I can correct it and save the correction as another sample. All I have to do now is repeat until I'm satisfied. Finally, I can review all the samples and adjust the weightings if needed, and then click Finish. As easy as that, with no coding required, my machine learning model is ready to go. Back in the Blue Prism Studio, the digital worker calls the pre-built decision object, which formats my data for me and makes a call to the ML model we just built. I get back the prediction, as well as the confidence level. Here it looks like Blue Prism Decision is pretty confident Gonzaga is going to win that first game. The final step is to have Blue Prism select the winner in the bracket. From there on, we can speed it up and repeat until the bracket is all filled out. This might just be a fun use case, but it would be incredibly challenging to make these sorts of complex decisions with traditional rules-based RPA. By adding in Blue Prism Decision's easy-to-use ML engine, digital workers can start tackling more complex use cases, typically ones that assist more skilled employees and result in higher automation ROIs. Talk to your Blue Prism rep to find out what new use cases you can automate with Blue Prism Decision.